black, white, and blue there, Lady Hawk. We're here with Lily Richards, who is staring deep into the left camera. The left hand. Because that's where <laughs> we make the eye contact with the viewers. Um, obviously, you are here to give me some book tales. Give you some books. You Thank go. you so much. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll just walk off with them. Watch um, I know, wouldn't it be great? You just came to deliver <laughs> books to me. Picture. Just walk, I'll read them for about an hour and then I'll come back and give you my, uh, my, my thoughts. Anyway, uh, uh, talk us through. <laughs> and why, I bought one, just one of them. I thought I'd, I'd do two. I'm really interested in Hurricane Katrina. You know how okay. there are things, incidents that occur, especially uh, during your lifetime, you know, when you're at school and you, you study about the Titanic and. Mm -hmm. Um, you're kind of like disengaged in some way, but it does seem like this epic thing. Yep. So when September 11th happened and when um, Hurricane yep. Katrina happened, I was totally engrossed in these, these occurrences because they happened in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like books, as a, you know, literature really jumps on board. There are he heaps of books about September 11th, mm -hmm. extremely loud and incredibly close yep. is one of them. Um, but Hurricane Katrina has also been dealt with a lot in, in literature. And I, this this book, Salvage the Bones, has just won the National Book Award. Do you want to look the fancy gold sticker there? Implies okay. it's oh, good. There <laughs> <laughs> we go. Yeah, that was the most retarded one I've ever done. <laughs> Camera the um, ha. Camera yeah, ha. Ha. Um, so the National Book Award is one of my favourite book awards as well. Mm -hmm. You just kind of chime with a certain award. You know, some things you're like, oh, mm, Pulitzer, not so much. Is it, is it one of your favourite awards? Yeah, well, like I like what comes people. up with it. Um, I, well, I like the Pulitzer because it's American fiction, and I do like the National Book Award. I don't, I don't really ever get the um, the Booker. The Booker. Whatever they choose for the Booker, I'm just like, mm, really, really. If you were to create an award, like award, uh, in a book award, what would it be called? What would it be named after you? This uh, can I answer that next week? I'm really bad at thinking on my phone. Really? Okay, it better yeah. be well thought out and you must write a 500 word essay. These are all like, the bullets are all named after people. So yeah, it's just obviously it's easy. the Lily Book Awards. The Lily Book Awards. I like that one. The Lily <laughs> Book Awards. <laughs> anyway, so Anyway, so she won, the, she won the National Book Award and this is a big surprise because she, she's um, a young author and she hasn't won anything before. That's what's so good about the National Book Award. But she was up against big contenders and some people thought that she shouldn't win really because of the subject matter, which is... A very, very poor family mm -hmm. um, running up to, to, it's 12 days before Hurricane Katrina hits. And so everyone knows that in New Orleans they were plagued by poverty and that there were, you know, pockets of extreme richness, but also, you know, extreme, mm -hmm. extreme poverty. But the kind of poverty that you just don't even think about, you know, to, to the degree at which you don't even presume possible to yep. still exist within. Um, and this is a story about people, you know, they live in like this junkyard, they've got a, their mother has died. It's in the point of view of this young girl. So it's kind of, it sort of reads a little bit like an instant classic, a bit like a Carson McCullers mm -hmm. or something that you'd read at school, which sounds like a criticism. Like a but, or something, like, you know, yeah. like that. <laughs> totally. That's good, yeah, yeah. But she's got this wonderful voice and she just, without judgment or ego or criticism whatsoever, goes right into the heart of this family and the relationships that they have. Mm -hmm. And of course there's this looming sense of this, this extraordinary tragedy that's about to happen to them. They're completely unprepared. Mm -hmm. They don't even have food at the best of the time at best of times. So yeah. getting prepared and stockpiling for this is not going to be easy for them. And you just you get involved in the lives of the sisters and the brothers and it's beautifully written. It's mm -hmm. astonishingly well written. So why was it controversial because of the subject matter? Well, it's because it's poor black America and you know like No one's read about that. No one's read about that. It's goodness. really disappointing. Oh, that's just so depressing, man. Yeah, it was up against T Albrecht for the Tiger's wife and mm -hmm. everyone thought that she was gonna win because yeah. it was a really strong contender. Um, so there was a little, there was a little bit of hoo ha about <laughs> about her winning, but I think it's a really important book, yeah. and she does a really good job of giving voice to people who very rarely get heard. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, I'm I'm very much interested in this book now. You should be. Salvage the bones. Yeah. So that's, that's my right. first Hurricane Katrina book, and you'll have a, s a song, a music song, a now. musical song. <laughs> <laughs> you could almost just I could just leave if you rehearse this. <laughs> now for a musical song. Um, <laughs> here's what of MIA bad girls. We're going to be back with. Uh, Give us the title. Give us a bit of a tease. This is what we do in TV land. Like, tease with the title. I don't even know. I don't know what song you're going to put it on. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 it's the no, book. It's a book. It's a book by Dave Eggers. Okay. Who, yeah, who we love. Oh. It's a bit of a tease. Ooh. All right, here's what it my We'll be back with Lily right after this. <laughs> Bad girls there from MIA. <laughs> if you're watching the live feed there, it was a lot of feet conversation, uh, and only those who are on the app will get it. So yeah, this camera here has had some Explosive. interesting some conversations over here. Good stuff. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> um, but enough about feet and more about Hurricane Katrina. Back to tragedy.
I don't think that sentence has ever been said. <laughs> Enough of and back to Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> um, next book, David, Dave Eggers. Dave Eggers. So he is, for those who have forgotten that I'm in love with him, he is the, um, he's, I reckon he's, he's sort of like the, the Jamie Oliver of the book world. I, can, I really understand that. Uh, that should have phrase. Thanks, that comparison. The comparison. Mm, it's the word I'm looking So at. he's a, like a philanthropist and he's very involved in the book industry and but also really peripheral. Peri peri oh my god, say the word for me. Peri Peripherally. Thanks. Um, helping out just in general. <laughs> um, and so, okay, so he wrote this book and what it is is it's part fiction. It's called Z-Tune. Z-Tune. I was, I was looking, I was staring at that and I'm like, how is she going to pronounce it? Zeta, well, actually. <laughs> um, and so it's part, it's a, a non fiction retelling. So, which is kind of slightly complex. It was a so real like thing that like, happened. Those blue, like those uh, repro like reproductions on like cop shows where they like tint it blue. It's like, <laughs> kind of like those, those reenactments. Exactly like yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a reenactment. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also maybe like a less cheesy way of doing what like really dumb stars do when they get a ghostwriter. So this uh, is someone whose yeah. story is really interesting but who's not naturally a writer. So Dave Eggers has come on and said, look. And also it's about sort of shining the spotlight on what happened to people in, in New Orleans after, after the hurricane. Mm. Um, and he, it's Zetun is a gentleman, he's a Muslim guy and he is married to an American who um, transferred to Muslim. To Islamism. Converted. Um, converted. Thanks. Transferred. I'm just here to give you she words. transferred there from Christianity. <laughs> yep. um, <laughs> yeah. And um, so, and they have a painting company and they were, he stayed behind and looked after his houses that he maintained and the children and the family went. So he was there when the hurricane hit and he was trapped there afterwards and he went around and he helped people and he did this wonderful job and then he disappears. Um, and it turns out that he disappears, which you find out by reading the book, and I won't give too much away, but it has something to do with the government, and it's something to do with what America did, and the policies it instituted, and the kind of military regime that was put in place mm -hmm. during that crisis. So it's a lot, it's, it's quite political, it's quite traumatic, um, and it's really interesting. It shows you this, you know, inside the belly of the city when just everything falls apart. And all of the proceeds from this book still, so if you buy it now, the proceeds from the book go to the Zetune Foundation, and they're still involved in giving out grants for um, all sorts of projects that are, that are dedicated to rebuilding the city, and also trying to um, help for people who have been wrongly persecuted during the, the aftermath. A lot of wow. religious um, intolerance and racism went on, particularly so, in that climate. So it's just so, I mean, it's very sobering when you kind of uh, almost like watch these terrible things happen and you, but you, you can entirely watch it through television or media and stuff and it's just yeah. it, the sense of like, it doesn't seem real almost and you mm. totally forget like once it stops getting constant media coverage the aftermath of it and still that New Orleans is certainly not what it used to be. No. Like I mean I had a friend who went there recently and it, it was it, it's just like still terribly like just destructed. I don't know. It's yeah. just, there yeah. was a show on uh, on you that played a little while back um, about skate well they go around and check out different skate spots around the world and one of them they went to New Orleans and the skaters had a really interesting view of the city since everyone had started moving back in. And they were saying, and this is completely separate from everything, but it was just interesting to think about it. They had no trouble anymore with anyone. Before the Katrina, they were constantly getting moved on and told to stop mm -hmm. skating on things. But now, a little bit of a scratch on the side of a concrete, you know, bar no just doesn't seem that big a deal anymore. So yeah. they're just, you know. Well, the, the, the lack of civic pride is a really bad thing for a city. Well, exactly. Especially one, like, so historical. Is but it's kind of like your perception and, and <laughs> your, what, you, what you see every day as an issue would after an event like that just yeah. your whole concept of mm. of life just completely changes and people in Christchurch know exactly what we're talking exactly, about. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. I think in terms of that though, like the long term effects wasn't just the just the physical destruction. It mm. was yeah, the, the way in which humanity was, was dealt with morale well of and, a whole city, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And abandoned and kind mm. of destroyed. So interesting. Awesome. Two uh, very interesting books, Salvage Bones and uh, Dave Eggers Z Tune. Get it right. Well right done. Um, uh, awesome. Go and get them, and uh, especially that. It's, it's so great how the proceeds still go to the. Yeah. Because I mean, when was it published? 2009. Nice. Um, anyway, Lily, fantastic to see you again. Mm -hmm. Gentleman's handshake. I never give you a gentleman's handshake. Um, not a gentleman. <laughs> well, I'm not a gentleman either, but it's still nice to do it, all right? <laughs> Just trying to do something special. Let's go to the break.